Hey everybody, my name is Marvin from NB Ready. Today we're going to be discussing why your AR should have um, magnification or not. So, I'm going to start the video off with uh, this here. This is my home defense farm, and it's one of a few. This is my, what I consider in my video to be my preferred. Excuse me. If you want to go back and check out my home defense series I did, you're more than welcome to definitely check it out. Give me some, some, um, some feedback, uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm a father instructor in the state of Maryland. I do personal protection, private lessons, wear and carry for Maryland and a few other states. If the state I don't do it in, I have a, a plethora of resources that can assist you. So with that being said, again, this is my <laughs> preferred farm from Home Defense. You see it has no uh, optics on it, no magnification at all. Just has some iron sights, white light, double magged up, a sling, of course, and it has the, uh, the the rip brace, right? It, I did paint it was black. Um, it had a stainless steel barrel, or well, still does have a stainless steel barrel, but I painted it just to, you know, so it look a little less boring, a little cooler. People are just painting guns these days. Who cares, you can always get the paint off and do something different, right? Paint is, it's not permanent. So, why am I showing this gun and we're talking about magnification? Or all ARs having magnification? The reason I'm showing you this is because this is just my baseline. I think everybody should learn on irons. Um, for my home defense farm, I have iron sights with a little red dot on the top of the uh, the tip of the iron sight at the front because I don't have to dig around my optics in the event that I do have to address an intruder who's here to harm and kill myself or just, you know, use deadly force on uh, myself and my family and I have to counter that threat, right? I want to be able to grab my farm, point, shoot, address the threat, stop the threat, and go on with my daily life. Now, um, realistically... My longest hallway is 12 yards, I believe. The longest hallway in my house is 12 yards. Um, I have an average size house, and I don't think that I need magnification in my home. Um, I do have some home defense farms that are already staged. that do have optics, but the iron sights are already up and ready to go, right? I have irons on them it's because they probably had irons on before I decided to implement them into my system. So when you're creating your system for home defense, just think about the purpose use, right? Short range. Um, in your home, uh, that's why I have a 10.5 barrel, all right? 10.5 barrel is on top of a poverty pony lower, uh, Anderson, of course. <laughs> and it has a polished trigger, um, and this 1.8 twist, um, 2 to 3 wild barrel, uh, with a 5 and a quarter linear comp, just to push that deafening blast in front of me. Uh, one of my, my instructor, when I did my patrol rifle class, he was like, that's a suppressor. It's really not, it's really not, it's not going to cut DBs or anything like that. But it'll just push that blast in front of you uh, just to kind of mitigate it somewhat, right? Um, yeah, and that is it. It's been painted, as I stated before. Suppressor, light, irons, side charging. Uh, just, I like that. I like that upper. And that's all. Now let's jump into what uh, is kind of becoming the fad, the theme, right? But it still has good use. Now... This gun is loaded, hot, ready to go, so um, I am a safety Nazi, but it's not. There's no round chamber in any of the guns, but they do have actual full maps. This is my SPR, my special purpose rifle. You may say, I thought we were talking home defense. We're actually talking about magnification. So, this is a monster tactical 1 to 6 uh, LVPO. I'm starting to follow LVPOs. This is my third or fourth LVPO, and I like these for a few reasons, right? So even though this is an SPR, this is not an 18-inch barrel, this is a 16-inch barrel, 1-8 twist um, barrel. And I have my uh, blast can up front because it does a great job of just pushing that blast in front of you. Green light, maybe do a little bit of night shooting. And 20-round um, mag because it is a special purpose rifle. So um, inside, and, and, and the sights are 45-degree uh, can sights. Now, LVPO comes in handy because you have a 1 to 4, 1 to 6, 1 to 8, 1 to 10 is what I've seen so far being the highest magnification. And I love that because you have a few things that work in your favor. It never gives you a true one power, right? So you're going to have to have, um, you don't have to, but I chose 45 degree um, cannon, cannon iron sights as a backup. You can have your regular mounted sights, but you're going to have to remove your optic in order to have access to to be able to use those sites, right? And I, and I actually use my backup sites quite often, um, but we're not here to talk about that. You can have positive ID, right? Even though you should have um, binoculars, right? Like I keep in my range, I keep binoculars. You, you want to be able to identify what you're shooting. 
don't rely on your optic as your primary system for um, positive ID, right? But most people are going to do that. But then that means that you're pointing a gun at a animal, person, or thing. So um, just be aware of that, right? But that gives you the ability to say, okay, I can zoom in and see what it is um, to see if it's full friendly. But and also I can be a little more, not necessarily accurate, but I can have uh, increased my hit probability and have a better shot group, right? So, and it's better than, I'm not going to say better than, but I prefer LVPOs over having that magnification and um, red dot setup. I, I, I can't stand that setup for, for a few reasons. And I'll put this gun down while I describe this. I do not like the uh, magnifier and red dot setup because you then have four lenses. As a person who wears glasses, I understand the difficulty of humidity, moisture, dirt, all that stuff, right? So I'm going from having two lenses on, on a regular optic with no lenses on, on an iron and then I have four lenses, which in between the movement of the magnified red dot, you can get moisture, debris, dirt, mud, anything on the lens. So that's going to, that can cause a bit of an issue. Uh, and then it just adds more weight. The LVPO is already heavy enough. Just having my little red dot, like I'm going to show you on my favorite gun. This is my favorite gun, my favorite setup. It's super simple, and I'm, I'm pretty good out to 100 yards with the gun with no issues, right? This is my <clears throat> Palmetto State Armory Upper. FM barrel, 5.56 on, of course, a, well, not of course, I was going to say a uh, property pointing, but it's a Delton lower, and I have polished trigger. I polished trigger in, in just about all of my ARs, because it's so easy to do. I think I did a video on it before some years ago. White light, uh, two and a quarter, a blast can, um, Bear Creek Arsenal iron, back of sight. All right, SIG optic on top, which is super clear. And I, I have like a nice, I've, I've made a nice fist size group with this gun at 100 yards standing. So, um, I don't know if it's a compliment to how awesome the barrel is, or maybe I'm just that good of a shooter. I think it's the barrel. The barrel is pretty sweet. FN does a really good job. And this gun is light. I love this gun. It's simple. Sling, optic, iron sights, uh, burp grip, light, uh, blast can, in case you want to put your suppressor on there, supply, take this off, put it on there. And it's a midland barrel. I'm just kidding, midland a gas system. So it not that the five six recoils a lot anyway, but it's softer shooting and it's pretty reliable. This is my favorite setup. This is my favorite setup so far. I have guns with different bells and whistles on them, but I love that. I'll put that right there. I don't shoot it a whole lot, but when I shoot it, I just remember and I'm like, I love this gun, right? So with that being said, should your why all AR should have magnification on them? They really shouldn't. You got to think about your purpose of use. What are you going to be doing with this gun? If it's for home defense, I'm not being funny, but do you need two and three power magnification in your home? Is your house that big? If you're in a mansion, maybe so. Maybe your longest hallway is 100 yards. I'm still working on that, you know, but, but I ain't there, right? Or maybe you have a ranch or farm, you know, you have some coyotes messing with your chickens or something like that. That's kind of beyond home defense. It's kind of just protecting your property. And, and, and what you own, that's different. So maybe you would need it for something to that nature. Uh, but just in general, should every AR have magnification? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, my name is uh, Mark with, uh, with MD, MD Ready. I'm a local farm instructor, consultation, um, carrier permits, hangar qualification license, private lessons, whatever. Reach out to me, Instagram is MD underscore ready. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know why you think ARs should have magnification or they shouldn't have magnification. I started off with iron sights because you need to learn it. I showed you why, what I love about the magnification where we are today when it comes to LVPOs. And I also showed you my favorite gun has no magnification. Am I right or am I wrong? Let me know. God bless you guys. You take care. Have a good one.